I called her a skin coat like you told me. <laughs> <laughs> so what should I do next, though? Put that E.T. over that place. Put that E.T. looking bitch in her place? <laughs> you a damn savage, little man. <laughs> Oh, damn there you go what's going on party people what is going on it's your ride share extraordinaire your super duper uber drivers here guys thank you kindly it's part your time you guys already know the deal before you hop in my ride do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe poor favor <laughs> come on let's do this hop on in Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Okay, guys, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man, I don't know what's getting into these celebrities. What's going on? 2024, it's like the whole world has flipped upside down. We have another celebrity who has spoken out against the Biden administration and said that I am not voting for this guy. I endorsed him in 2020, but this go around, I'm not voting for him. All right. Do you know who this guy is right here? Michael Rappaport. This guy is the loudest Trump hater. This guy is so disgusting that, you know, now that he said he might vote for Trump, I don't... I don't care for his vote, but hey, the more the merrier. But this guy, let's take a listen to what he's been saying for the last couple of years. Bye bye, you fuck. Bye fucking bye, you fuck. Banned. Banned for life. Do you know what kind of a piece of shit you have to be to get banned off of Twitter for life while you're the president of the United States? Bye bye. Let's talk about big Donald Trump first. Pig Donald Trump is not like any other president. And I'm not saying other presidents have been squeaky clean. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the majority of them have been piles of as well, corrupt piles of But nobody, nobody is as big a pile of as stain Donald Trump. My dream would be that he goes to fucking federal prison. That would be my fucking dream. That him, him and that dumb fucking Don Don Jr. Those two, and Rudy Giuliani. Those the three of them. Yes, yes. That Michael Rappaport, this disgusting guy, says that he's going to vote for the pig dick. What is going on? What is going on, folks? What's going on? Biden, what are you doing to these people? Everybody's leaving the camp now. Now, Michael Rappaport, again, he's one of those, um, Kanye, help me out. I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Now, I, it's, I'm finding this funny because a lot of those people, 80 to 90% of them vote Democrat. I don't know why, but now they're starting to see that the Democrat party is not for them especially the squad and those people, those other females that's anti-Israel, you know, now they're starting to see that the true colors of the Democrat party. But seriously, man, I don't know what's going on with these celebrities. They all jumping ship and now they want to jump on the Trump train. Michael Port, Michael Rappaport, I'm not a big fan of yours, but now that you're here, get your ass in the back of the train, okay? Get in the back of the train. I have educated myself so much since 2016, and I have a ways to go. My political views have changed immensely, and they're changing at a rapid pace. I will not vote for Joe Biden. I do not support anybody from the squad. I think they're totally full of shit. I think they're dangerous. I think they're race hustlers. I think they're cons. I think inevitably they want to get themselves uh, production deals to produce documentaries. I think they're, um, they're three card Monty playing bullshit artists. I think they totally have an agenda. Um, 
I have said, you know, not to go down the rabbit hole, that at this point when we're doing this interview, voting for Trump is on the table. People are like, what are you talking about? That's my reality. That is my reality. I will not support anybody who's anti-Israel. I will not support anybody that is anti, uh, um, you know, making America safe. I'm not supporting anybody that is cool with the fact that it takes me two and a half hours to get back into America from Toronto uh, uh, at, at the, um, what the, what is it called? The passport at the- um, Passport control. The line to go from Toronto to New York, it takes me two and a half hours, as it should, but it takes you two minutes to cross the border. I'm not down with that shit. I'm not down with police officers in the greatest city on earth getting beaten up and uh, uh, you're a legal immigrant and then you have no bail. I'm not uh, down and with- And flipping off the camera. Flipping off the fucking camera like Tupac when he got arrested and he was coming out in the in the, in the the red Detroit what Red Wings t-shirt. I'm not down with going into a Costco or a 7-Eleven or a Rite Aid as I videotaped once and went crazy viral, cleaning out the spot and walking like you're, you're on a, you know, like a beautiful spring day walk. I'm not down with any of that shit. So any of these people that support it, I'm not, I'm not voting for them. So yes, my, my political views have changed a lot. I'm voting with my money and I'm voting with Israel. I'm not getting caught up or suckered into these race politics or any of that bullshit anymore. Yeah, they have changed and they're gonna continue to change and evolve. It's a crazy time, American politics. Now we have this guy here, the biggest Hollywood star, Dwayne The Rock Johnson has made a heel turn and he says that he is not voting for Biden. He refused to endorse Biden. He did it in 2020, but this go around, he says, hell no. Happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're gonna get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy and I, I believe we can get better. The endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this, this is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. I didn't realize it then. I just thought, hey, our country feels like there's a lot of unrest. It feels like I would like things to calm down. Maybe we need a change. This is what I'm going to do. And this is who I'm going to endorse. Months and months and months, I started to realize like, oh man, that caused an incredible amount of uh, division in our country. So I realize now going into this election, I'm not going to do that. I wouldn't do that because my goal is to bring our country together. I do trust the American people, and I trust that whoever they vote for, that's going to be my president, and that's who I'm going to support 100%. <laughs> what is going on, folks? What are you doing? What is Trump doing to these guys? What is Biden doing to you guys? Biden has made more Republicans in the last four years than I ever seen. Wow. Thank you, Biden. Whatever you're doing, keep it up. We need more of you. <laughs> the hell? I'm going to say one thing. Fuck Trump. Yeah, so all I need to see now is Bobby De Niro. If I see Bobby De Niro do a heel turn, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to absolutely lose my mind if I see this guy, Robert De Niro, the second biggest hater. We got Michael Rappaport, who's number one. Now, number two is Bobby De Niro. If I see this guy do a heel turn, I'm going to lose my mind right here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I love it. We have all the celebrities are leaving the Democrat Party. We all said the Democrat Party is not the same that it was, what, 20 years ago? The Kennedy Democrats, those are gone. These are nothing but socialists. Nothing but socialists. And I like to thank the Black Lives Matter, the Antifa. You're pushing people away from the party. You can have the party. But now they have common sense and they're leaving the party. They're coming to the common sense party with the common folks. You extremists, you stay over there. Do not bring your shit over here. Stay over there. Well, 
man, it's a good day. <laughs> it's a good day. And that's what I got for you folks. If you got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> you go, girl. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you socialists, get off my lawn.